Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change an alternator on a C4 Corvette. Hi everyone, this is Chrissy, and you're watching the Corvette channel. So before you get started, I wanted to show you the tools that you're going to need to be able to change the alternator. First of all, you're going to need a T50 Torx and a ratchet. You're going to need an 8 millimeter uh, wrench as well as a 10 millimeter wrench as well as a half inch socket and a 15 millimeter socket and an extension, a 5 8 wrench and like an 11 16 wrench and a long screwdriver. Possibly you might need a, a flashlight to be able to see down in there. Um, and then when you're adjusting the alternator the to get the pin to go back in place you may need um, a rubber mallet so that's about the only thing you're going to need we're not going to beat the alternator up don't worry but that's just something that we can kind of persuade it to go exactly where we need it to go without beating it to death and leaving any marks so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video and show you a, um, me pulling the alternator completely out and putting the new one in and well, one of the things that we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and remove the battery. So that's where we're going to start. So I've got the flashlight here so I can illuminate this a little bit better so you can see. But um, you can see the, the battery terminal here. We're just going to take that loose. Um, this is an 8 millimeter wrench. Uh, that, and you could use a small socket if you wanted to. But I, I'm just use, utilizing the, the wrench. And we'll drop this loose. This will eliminate any chance of us having a spark when we go to take the alternator out. Okay, so the first thing we have to do, you're looking at the, the uh, tensioner pulley on the front of the car, the front of the engine. Now you've got to be able to take that and you're going to have to release the pressure on the serpentine belt to be able to get the belt off. Um, so you're not trying to fight that and it'll be very much easier to get the, the alternator off. So. Um, what they did do in the earlier models of the C4, there was plenty of room to get to that pulley um, and be able to get in there with a breaker bar. But if you look down in there, you can see that there is a cross member that goes right across the front between the radiator and the front of the motor. So you're not going to be able to get a breaker bar in there. So what I, my plan is, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take two wrenches. And I showed you in the video that I had a 5 8 wrench and an 11 16 wrench. That bolt down there actually is, an, is a 5, uh, 5 8 wrench. So I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to use the other end of the wrench and hook on an 11 16 so I can get a little bit of leverage on it. And that's how I'm going to uh, release the pressure on the belt. So when I go to reach into there, um, my wife is my wife Jennifer is actually filming this for us. So there's no way that she can get this camera in there to see that while I'm actually doing it. So um, I'm going to hand the camera back to her, and uh, you guys are just going to have to like watch from the top side. But that's you'll get the gist of it from what you can what you'll see me doing with the wrench, so you know how you're going to be able to have to get this bolt loose. Okay, like so. Okay. Now, if you need to be able to pull the, you're going to need to be able to pull this back. But if you don't have, you don't have the power, um, not strong enough to be able to pull that back, not a big deal. Just grab another wrench like so. Okay, put it on there like that, and now you can make it a uh, get you some leverage on here. So now what you can do is you can just pull this little guy back like so, and you can just move the belt and make sure you keep your fingers out from underneath the pulley just in case that wrench slips off and it doesn't get your finger. If you pull that off ever so carefully and just like leave it over there, you can release this and you can leave that just like right there out of your way. You take this wrench off so it's out of your way but that one's still in there. Okay, and then at that point you can just put the wrench back on when you're ready to go and everything will You'll be able to get the other wrench back on and you'll see that when I go to put it all back together. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to use our, our Torx here um, on this bolt here. We can break that one loose, get this one out of the way.
Now the reason I'm changing this one is it's still putting out power, but it I started it a couple of days ago and um, I instantly smelt electrical. And so basically something inside has gone gone out. It's uh, working intermittently enough that it got me home. It didn't leave me stranded, but um, it uh, it definitely was not happy and it was started to make the um, the all the um, RPM gauge on the car uh, start to jump so um, So it's affecting the electronics throughout the whole car So we, we need to get this changed out, you know as as fast as possible Now this one here is a we're gonna go ahead and this is also we have to take this cable loose right here This is a plug just for the air conditioner pump. We're gonna move that out of the way so we can get to this bolt here and then this one is a 15 millimeter. Let me get this one off. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna put that in our little nut holder over here. And then this bolt is not not threaded, so um, it will just come out once you get it get it free. It might be a little bit long winded, but you can you can help it a little bit. It just depends on. I've had them just slide right out of the way. Probably just sit. Depends on how the alternator is sitting in the bracket. This one's going to be a little more difficult, and that's okay. But there is no threads there. The thing just slides right through. It was the nut that we took off that holds it in place. There we go. See that? How well, that one came out. So we got that one out of the way. And then we have a 10 millimeter bolt here, which we're gonna go ahead and set ourselves up with our ratchet. So when I smelt while I was doing this, I'll tell you basically what happened is I smelt the electrical, saw the RPM gauge started to, to jump. I could smell it a little bit. And then all of a sudden I could start to hear, it almost sounded like it had a, uh, um, a supercharger on it or something, a major gear whine. So basically what, you know, what's happening is the bearings are going out in it. Um, so decided to go ahead and change it. So now we have a 10 millimeter bolt right here. So we're just gonna take that off. Now, this is the whole, this one right here is the main purpose that we chain, we take the battery loose in the beginning. Because if this was to come off and we move it over here and it comes off and it touches anything off of this post, it's gonna, it's gonna start a bunch of arcing and sparking. So you don't want that to happen, okay? So now, we're gonna, we're gonna see if we get lucky enough that this will just come up and out. If not, we're gonna have to use our screwdriver right here and I'll be able to pry this up a little bit because it's kind of pinched in there. And we've got one other connection that's down below and it's down here on the back side of the, of the alternator, but we've, lift, we've been able to lift it up. And hopefully you can see that right there. And I'm just gonna take that, it's a little clip, it lifts up and lifts out just like so. Okay, so at this point, the alternator's free except for where it's pivoting up here. And it's just being kind of a pain. So this is where your long screwdriver comes into play. You're just gonna push this little guy and it'll lift up and out of there. You wanna be careful that you don't reef anywhere on this part right here because this is where your air conditioner lines are at. And there we go. We've got our new alternator here. 
and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to set this little guy in place and we're just going to wiggle it in here and it's pretty much in place now and so um, we just need to start reversing what we did so we're going to first thing is let's get this this bolt here uh, started Now remember, like I said, it just this one just slides in, so we just have to get this one adjusted correctly. So our bolts being a little bit of a pain, so what you can do is you can use a, a screwdriver to try to uh, try to guide the the hole to get it get it fairly close, so you can get it started. We're getting there. There we go. Just like that. At this point, we'll turn on our put on our ratchet here. It'll go on through. It's just kind of fight, fighting his way through there. Um, you can use your you can use the mallet here a little bit to be able to help it through. Like so, just be careful, don't hit the alternator. Okay. And there, so that one is in. So okay, so we've got our bolt started in here, but it's not just what not not wanting to thread all the way through because like I said there is no threads so what you can do is you can just use your mallet here to tap it in like so okay so that's where it belongs then the next step you want to be able to do because you won't be able to get to it if you don't do this now is you go to put this the alternator back into its place you want to plug that plug in hopefully you can see that you want to plug that little guy back in like so and then continue to push the alternator down into place. Now, once you get to that point, you'll want to take off the nut here that they, they supply you with the new one. Sometimes these don't match up with the one that you took off, so try to use the one that comes with it. And go ahead and put that on so it's, it's on there. We'll snug it up here in just a minute. Okay, and then we want to get this down in its place down below here. So sometimes, you have to have just a little bit of a, an adjuster right there like so to get that to, because it's a just very, very tight clearance. So at that point, we're gonna put this in here. We'll adjust, we can move it up and down now to get this bolt started. Okay, then we can, we can go ahead and get the other bolt here going and I try to do that just for the simple fact that we're not tightening anything down so everything lines up the way it should and then once we get everything the way it belongs then we'll go ahead and we'll align it or we'll, we'll tighten it up so here we're having to do a little bit of adjustment here to get this one in Okay, so then once we've got that started, then we can go back to our half inch socket, get it started. Now I highly do not recommend ever using any air tools to do this because this is all aluminum. You could strip it out if you don't get it, get it threaded correctly. Um, when I went to go do this, this project to be able to show you guys how to change these, the alternator itself, this bolt on the back here, this had been stripped out and then the manufacturer that had remanned it, they rethreaded it to some weird size thread that I couldn't find. So I ended up having to take the other alternator back and get this one. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that. Okay, that's tight. So the next thing we need to do is we need to put the nut onto this piece here, onto, onto this bolt. So we're just gonna start it by hand. Like 
like so. Get our ratchet in there so we can tighten this thing down. And my bolt didn't spin here, so it's it's snugging up nice and tight. But because this there is no threads in here, this bolt could actually start to spin on you if you do, um, you know, put your Torx on the other side and tighten it up. So at this point, we've got we've got this bolt tight, this bolt tight. We've got this bolt. We need to snug it up. Okay, like that and then we need to tighten up the exciter wire which is right here my 10 millimeter wrench okay like so and then go ahead and plug this little guy back in And we're pretty much done with all of our connections and all of the all the bolts. Now the only thing that we have to do now is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our, our wrench again, like we should, like I showed you before. Just going to put that on there like so. That way I can pull this back. And I'm going to grab this, grab the belt. And you're going to want to make sure that it all stays on the pulleys. This is coming back all the way. Okay, it's like so. Make sure, like I said, I've told, said this before, but make sure that you do not get your fingers inside those pulleys. Okay. At that point, we're good. Those are all on right where they belong. Okay, we can take that wrench off. So we're good. And the only thing we have to do left is to reattach the battery. And we'll do that with our 8 millimeter wrench, which is right here. Okay, I hear all the power coming back to the system. And you just have to snug it up, you don't have to make it super tight, you'll strip out the, the lead connector. So at that point, we are done. Um, so all we need to do now is we just need to test the car, make sure that we have um, proper voltage output, and we're good to go. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to check the uh, system now. We're going to fire it up, see what we get. And so, so she lit right up, and the voltage is coming up where it belongs. The noise is gone. It doesn't sound like a supercharger under the engine anymore, under the hood. And the biggest telltale was the RPM gauge. The tachometer was bouncing from like 1,000 to 3,000. It was just going back and forth, back and forth. So um, that part is gone also. Um, anyway, uh, that pretty much does it. Guys, I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Hopefully it'll help you be able to change your alternator if you ever have to do it. Hopefully you don't, and you don't have any problems, but inherently, that's one thing I can always say after all the Corvettes I've ever had, that you're gonna have to change an alternator. So hopefully this helped you and that you won't have to go pay somebody to do it. Thanks for watching today, I appreciate it. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. Thanks a lot, and you have a great day. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit like in the video and make sure to subscribe.